Well, hello, good people. Today, we're going to look at Luminar Neo's latest update, 1.7. So I'm doing something a little different today. I haven't installed the update just yet. I wanted to discover it together with you. Once you fire up Luminar Neo, you should get this update notice. And all you have to do is click install update and it's going to run. We're going to go ahead and click install. Now, for some reason, the update's not working. You can always go directly to the Skylum website and under your account, you can access a direct download from there. The first thing I want to show you is the update to the presets. Let's go click on presets up here. And we see that it's recommending close-ups. So we're going to go ahead and click on close-ups. And now as we hover over the presets, we get a preview on the left here. So we can see iconic, brush up, feature face, focus, and midday. Let's go to the essence collection. And as you see, as we hover over them, the image is changing. Having the previews are great because you don't have to apply it to the image. You can just preview it before you make that decision. That's definitely a welcomed update. The biggest thing with this update is the ability to use HDR merge, focus stacking, and upscale AI extensions within Lightroom. Now, before we head into Lightroom, we want to make sure that Neo is set up as a plugin for Lightroom. So first thing we want to do is go up here, go to file and under install plugins, you want to make sure that you see the check marks here for Lightroom or Photoshop. Otherwise you won't be able to use it as a plugin. So I've done that already. We're going to click done and then we're going to fire up Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom Classic and you want to go up to File. And if you go under Export with Preset, you'll see that now there's a section for Luminar Neo. So let's say I wanted to use the upscale feature for this image. It's going to open up Luminar Neo's interface and you can work in Luminar Neo just as you normally would. It's a little bit different though because you get this preview screen and you have your settings here that you can change. And then we have our options here to upscale it two times, four times, six times, whatever the case might be. And all I'd have to do here is click on upscale. Now, once the process is complete, you can use any of the presets, go into the edit tab, work in Neo as you normally do. And then once you're done, you click apply and then you'll be brought back into the Lightroom workspace. So as you see here below, this is the upscaled image. We have the original right beside it. And obviously it works the same way for focus stacking and HDR merge. Next, let's touch on the performance side. Now, apparently it's supposed to be a bit quicker and snappier. I have my usage dashboard up here for GPU, CPU up here, RAM, and I'm going to leave it up so that you guys can see, you know, what's being used, how quickly it takes. So first thing I'm going to test out is the noiseless AI. And there's a little bit of noise when you zoom in, but I'm just going to see if it's any quicker than from the last time I used. And it normally takes, yeah, about five to six seconds on my system. By the way, I'm running an RTX 3060 Ti and a Ryzen 5800X with 32 gigabytes of RAM. And as you see that, didn't take very long, took care of the noise without making any real adjustments. Let's try the sharpening. I see we only still have universal in motion blur. Let's put some low sharpening and take a look in real time. Let's look at the usage here. Not bad usage, GPU, RAM's at 57. Super sharp still kind of took a while for the low setting. To be honest, I didn't see the speed improvement there, so maybe it wasn't optimized for that. The one thing I do know for sure, Portrait Bokeh AI, for example, can really tax the system. I'm going to crank this all the way up and do this really fast. Pay attention to the CPU. I'm not sure if they're utilizing the GPU throughout the whole system. I know it was implemented for noiseless AI. So let's go ahead and crank this all the way up. Depth correction. Let's see how the system's handling it. Yeah, that actually didn't take very long at all. There's a before, there's the after. Before and after. And actually did a pretty good job. I'd have to mask these areas out, no problem. 
for the most part, at least to me, it feels just a tad snappier. I didn't notice any heavy delays or anything like that. Now, if you happen to be new to Luminar Neo, make sure to check out this playlist. I have quite a few videos on Luminar Neo. And if you like tips and tricks videos, make sure to check out this one. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.